What's up, guys? It's Ray and Mike from AchievementHunter.com, and Mike, we got a very special This Is today. Oh, this is my very first This Is, so of course it's special. It's special, and Mike, we are playing Beach Paddle on the Xbox oh, Live Indie gosh, Games. Oh, finally! And yeah, it's, you know, it's been overdue, and I'm finally here to do it. Since there's nothing coming out this week, and I'm really strapped for videos, we are going to do a This Is on Beach Paddle. Yes! So Amazing game. The funny thing about Beach Paddle is, uh, if you're interested in buying it, which you should be, it's a dollar on the indie games market. That's so 80 a great Microsoft. deal. That's it's a that's dollar. A yeah, deal. 80 Microsoft points. Um, you know how they have the ratings for indie games, like zero yes. out of three for violence and all that. Everything is zero except sex. Sex is three out of all three. All right. It's a very <laughs> eye. It's a very pleasing game for the eye. But uh, Beach Paddle is pretty much just a pawn game with its own special twist. That twist being, it's uh, has some scantily clad animated women. Oh boy! Yeah, the first one. It, there's it's only two players, obviously. Uh, first player is named Sakura, right? Zikora. Second player, Sa Sakura. Like, oh, Sakura. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Not 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 what you're thinking, but <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, Sakura, like the Street Fighter character. And the second player's name is Asoyo or Aseo, A S A Y O. Yeah, I can't read, so we're just gonna go <laughs> nice. with that. And in between, when you score a point, there's a third female, and her name is Coach. That's it. Just she, coach. Just coach. She has a head. Not not like you know the big black guy from Left for Dead. Oh right. It, okay. It, it's like literally like a coach dressed in like a bikini with a headset on. Oh wow, nice. Okay. Yeah. So pretty good. Pretty good. So like I said, it's pretty much a basic pong game where you literally just have two paddles and you hit the ball back and forth, just like in pong. But there's some special things with this. Uh, there's Ooh, some power ups. Features, huh? Yeah. There's some power ups in this. Excellent. There's, uh, now I'm not gonna lie. When you see the power-ups, there's like two letters. It's obviously like an acronym or something. No idea what they do, so I just pick up all the power-ups. But from what I noticed, the uh, the power-ups affect the ball speed, so whether it goes faster or slower. Um, the size of the paddle, hey -oh, whether it gets extremely big <laughs> or you know much smaller. Right. And it affects the gravity of the ball, so the gravity will be like all, all over the place. And it's a complete mess, and it's very difficult to hit. And the games go up to five, so whoever scores five first. And there are 24 levels. 24, 24 levels! That is... That's more than Pong. That is more. Than, that is definitely more than Pong. One dollar, you get 24 levels. It's great. Unfortunately, though, there is no online play, so Mike and I cannot oh, get some sweet competitive action. But there is split screen, so you have any RL friends, you can just settle your... <laughs> yeah. RL friends? Yeah, well, you know, I'm just saying, if you do, you can oh, okay. settle your uh, heated disputes with some beach paddle. Nice. And uh, also in each level, besides the power-ups, sometimes there are magnets. Still don't know how they work. And there's sure. some fans scattered about. So if you hit the ball, the magnet will like suck up the ball and fuck up where it's going, and the fan will blow it all over the place, making it a huge clusterfuck. Oh and, man! And like I mentioned before, there's power ups, and in order to get the power ups, there's like random animals scattered throughout the levels. There's like random crabs, animals. random animals. There's like a crab, like a mouse looking thing, and some like there's a cat, I believe, also, and like some pink thing that I think is supposed to be a starfish, but I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, that's the Beach Paddle. There's no achievements, because it is an indie game, which sucks. I wish the indie games could have achievements. But for uh, you're not going to spend 80 Microsoft points any better than with Beach Paddle. Let me tell you that You right get now. so much. You get, like, 24 levels. You get power-ups. You get Pong. It's, like, honestly, it's ridiculous. Probably one of the most underrated games on the Xbox 360. Like, if you're going to buy a game this year, you should definitely buy Skyrim and then Beach Paddle. And then immediately afterwards, yeah, Beach Paddle. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing in, but, like, Skyrim just slightly, just because there's more content. And, but then Beach Paddle right afterwards. Yeah. Without a doubt. So, yeah, I'm hoping all of you are currently downloading Beach Paddle as we speak. Because Excellent you're game. Excellent clearly game. missing out. Um, great game for the kids. Introducing the Pong. May want to shield them <laughs> from the scantily clad girls, but... <laughs> you can just put, like, duct tape on the sides of your TV. Yeah, even if it's, like, a $6,000 TV, just put duct tape right on there. They won't even know. But, uh, yeah, that's uh, the, this is for Beach Paddle. And, yeah, that's it. Mike, anything else you want to add to this amazing video? Oh, man, I don't think so. I think we covered the majority of it. Just, just We talked about how great it is, how cheap it is, how much of a great deal it is. It's amazing. Exactly. Also, the best part about this is when I ran this by Jeff, he's like, yeah, just make sure you find the most badass indie game. Well, there you go, Jeff Ramsey. I found the most hardcore badass game on the indie market. There we go.